put it this way, if we were leaving from uh, Bergen and uh, was a new crew on board, all of us have been sailing for quite some time, but you were the newcomer, you'd never been sailing, but you had a brilliant voice. So let's say we're hoisting off the anchor, what's your name? Jay. Jay. For you. Jay. So we were walking around the castle. And then uh, the officer would maybe ask, so who's the bloody nightingale on board this ship? Who is the singer? And do you think it would work if he has, uh, you know, never been out to sea before? I can sing. <laughs> no. He would have been hit down. <laughs> so what to say today, you have street cred. Same as I said on board the ships. Who is usually an older, respected sailor. Had the respect amongst the others who knew his seamanship, but also needed a strong voice, but maybe one of the most important skills of a good shantyman was to be able to improvise. Because imagine now guys, if you were going to join us on the whole One Ocean Expedition, we're leaving Ushuaia, it's top level, we are a singing ship, singing to almost everything, but then I repeat the same verses all the time. That was done the first 2,000 times, now it's getting a bit less motivated. So improvisation was very important, and that's also why the songs became ruder and ruder and ruder the longer time they were out the team. <laughs> that's also why they have not been collected so much, but I'm usually saying the same. If it was only female on board the ship, I'm also quite sure that after 80 days at sea, you would not be singing about the flowers you forgot to give water back home. <laughs> you have to see it in the situation. You long more and more home and you look more and more to the ports that way to and the treasures that way to the port. They got rough and they got brutal. These are the shanties, but also what is very nice is also the four bitters. Because when the sailors were off watch, or not working, then they had the four bitters, which in Norwegian is Kivaxisa. And then... Um, and then they would sing, get the longing home. What also still goes for today that if you're missing your people back home, there was a saying in many sailing ships that you should not talk about it, how much you miss your girlfriend or how much you miss your family, because everybody uh, is in the same situation. So it wouldn't help the atmosphere aboard the ship if you started crying about the people you miss back home. But what the sailors could do is you could make these very nice sweet songs, but also very sad songs about death at the sea. I'm not going to sing you one which is in Norwegian, but I think you'll understand from, from the melody. It was collected on board a sailing ship in Bergen in the early 19th century. And it's called a Deux pour de Bruce and a Half. Just so we have the contrast of the sailor in the old days. Rough on one side, very sentimental on the other side. Oh. 